Suppose you needed to lift something, and there weren't any simple machines to help you. You'd have only your own muscles to rely on to do the work. The stronger you were, the easier it would be. If you weren't so strong, you might try to think of something to help you. A rope passed over a branch might help make the work easier. But it would also have its problems, with friction, for instance. To solve this problem, you might think of using a wheel, one with a groove in it, mounted so it can turn, and so you can hang it from something. When a rope is passed over this, it can move with much less friction than it can scraping over a branch. The groove in the wheel keeps the rope from slipping off. The whole arrangement, the wheel and the rope that goes over it, is called a pulley. Pulleys are simple machines that help people do work. This one is a fixed pulley because it stays in one place as you use it. How does a fixed pulley make lifting things easier? Suppose you attach a weight or a load here. A pull down on your end of the rope causes a pull up on the other end. You apply a force in one place and that produces a force in another place to lift a load. The amount of force you apply is the same as the force that acts on the load. If the load weighs 25 pounds, then you have to pull down with a force of 25 pounds in order to lift it. And if it weighs 50 pounds, you have to pull down with 50 pounds of force, the same amount of force you'd need to lift the load without the pulley. Fixed pulley does not increase your force. It helps you lift things by changing the direction of force. It allows you to pull down in order to lift something up. For instance, if you lift something by pulling it up, only your muscles do the work. <clears throat> but when you pull down, your own weight can help you. Using your own weight as a force, you can raise something that weighs less than you do, but not something that weighs more. But with a pulley, you don't have to use only your own weight. Suppose you want to lift something that weighs 100 pounds. You could hang another weight, a counterweight, on your end of the rope. If the counterweight weighs 90 pounds, that wouldn't lift the load. But all you'd have to supply is the difference, 10 pounds of force, and you could lift it. Fixed pulleys and counterweights are often used in lifting machines, like elevators. How to lift heavy things. To make that really easy, fixed pulleys aren't enough. You also need a different kind of pulley, a movable pulley. It's called that because it moves with the load. The pulley is suspended by this rope with one portion of the rope, or rope segment, on each side. Each rope segment supports half the load. If one person supports the whole load, he supplies all the lifting force himself. But suppose two people each hold one of the rope segments. Then they share the lifting equally. They each need to lift with only half as much force. Exactly the same thing happens if one end of the rope is attached to something that doesn't move. If you're lifting the other end, you still need to lift with a force equal to only half the weight of the load. This end still supports the other half. And because the rope can roll through the pulley, when you pull up with your half, you raise the whole load. So when you apply a force here, the pulley lifts with twice as much force here. With 10 pounds of force, you can lift a load that weighs 20 pounds. Of course, now the load includes the weight of the movable pulley. With 25 pounds of force, you can lift a load that weighs 50 pounds. And with 50 pounds, you can lift a 100-pound load. But with machines, you never get something for nothing. To get this increased force, you have to move your force an increased distance. If you want to lift the load a distance of one foot, you have to move your force two feet. To move the load two feet, 
you move four feet, always twice as far. So when the movable pulley is suspended by two rope segments, you have to exert your force over twice the distance the load moves, and in exchange the pulley lifts with twice as much force as you do. <laughs> 